As with all fighting games, upping your technical skill takes patience, practice, finesse. But we don't have time for any of that, so here are three tips you absolutely must know in order to stand any kind of a chance in competition. To take your game from turdy to Kirby, from Barf to Marf, from Pretty Wrong to Diddy Kong, you'll get better at winning. Now, I'm going to bravely assume you know the basics of Super Smash Bros. You've got a favourite character, you know their moves, and you can recover back to the platform when you get knocked off. First off then, short hopping and fast falling. This neat little trick allows players to perform aerial attacks quicker and while remaining lower to the ground. By performing a lower jump, the aerial can even hit targets on the ground. And when tied in with the fast fall, you'll be back on your feet quickly, ready to continue the fight. So how is it done? Well, it's pretty simple, which means it's an absolute must for competitive players. You begin by performing the short hop. Now, instead of simply pressing up to jump, you need to just tap. Tap quickly! If your finger's off the button before your character's in the air, then you've done it. Part one, nailed. Next, try the fast fall. Simply hold the down button as you fall. You'll get back into the game quickly, ready for a follow-up attack or ready to defend. Now, to tie it all together, you need to do a short hop, then the aerial with a direction and your attack button, then fast fall back down. It's great with characters with powerful aerials, but slow or weak ground attacks. Gimping. Sounds like a pretty weird technique, right? Well, despite the name, it's actually been a part of competitive Smash Brothers since the beginning. The main principle is KOing your opponent while they have a low percentage, and it usually comes from clever edge guarding. So, a quick guide to gimping. Throw or knock your hapless enemy off the edge of the stage, forcing them to perform a double jump and recovery. Interrupting this recovery back to the stage will make it extremely difficult to reach. By using a semi-spike or meteor smash, your character will drive the enemy even further down, away from the stage and even underneath the stage. You won't be able to edge hog anymore in Smash 4, but strong edge guarding can net you an early KO without sustaining too much damage. And finally, there's glide tossing. Quiet at the back. Since wave dashing has been removed from Smash Brothers on the Wii U, here's the next best thing. The technique lets you hurl a throwable object while also sliding towards or away from your opponent. By sliding rather than dashing, your character is all set to perform any standing attack. Plus, hurling a banana in someone's face is pretty distracting. Follow that up with a KO, and that's straight up depressing. See? Mind games! So, to perform this soul-crushing technique, when you're ready to throw an object, hit forwards. Follow that up with the jump button and immediately throw the object using a smash attack. The throw will cancel the jump, but you'll keep the forward momentum, gliding you across the stage and to within cuddling distance of your adversary. We advise that instead of cuddling, you perform an upward tilt, smash or grab, but that's up to you. So, there's three techniques to rehearse ahead of the Virgin Media Gaming Hexathlon. If you haven't already signed up, do head to the link below to prove to everyone that you've got the best glide toss around. And join us next time where we'll be looking at Hearthstone and its meteoric rise into the esports world.